Hello, welcome to the video series on project planning and controlling with Microsoft Project. My name is Jacques Alexis. I'm faculty here in the leadership and project management domain in CPS. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to add contingency reserve to your project budget. Uh, and uh, there are many reasons for adding contingency reserve, but most importantly, what you need to know is what, when you are um, planning, when you're creating estimates, you're trying to predict the future, and we know we're not actually very good at that, scheduled sleep, and for a number of reasons, your project may go of a budget. So for this reason, we know that we need contingency in the, in the project budget or in the project plan. So uh, how do we determine the amount of reserve that we need? There are many ways to do this. You can, for example, use what we call expected monetary value, uh, EMV, uh, or you can say, well, I'm going to, to take a simpler approach here. I'm going to say uh, my contingency reserve uh, is going to be 10% uh, of the project um, cost. Uh, here I'm talking about um, the cost of what packages and activities. Now, whether it's 10%, 5%. I, I want to make sure you understand, you, you're not uh, the person making that decision. It so may be based on company policy, the way they do that. So your project sponsor actually uh, must approve of your process for calculating or determining the contingency reserve. That's not something that you can decide on your own. So let's say that uh, for simplicity here, we're going to say uh, the contingency reserve is going to be 10% um, of the project cost. So let's find out how much this project uh, is going to cost. Now, if I have all my project activities and the schedule, and I have resource assignments. In other words, I have all my activities with resource assignments and what packages uh, that um, did not uh, break down, that you did not break down into activities. You make sure that you have resource assignment for, for these uh, 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 work packages as well. So let's figure out what the cost of this project here. Now, uh, I'm in the Gantt view with the entry table. So as you can see, this is the Gantt view. And let's take a look at the table that I have here. It's the entry table. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a column here. Let's click on the header and type cost, right, and press enter. So I can see the cost of my project. So if my project is um, I, item one, as you can see in the ID column here, uh, if this is the project, then the total cost of your project is going to be uh, $859,760. So um, to make sure that this is actually the total cost of the project, in Microsoft Project, there is what we call a top zero. I'm going to make sure that actually um, it is the same as what I have in TAS ID1. So click on Gantt chart format or format, uh, depending on your project uh, versions, and click on project from a top here, from four, right, project You can say here is top zero, actually it's the same as top one, so if I don't have any problem here. So 10% of that is going to be $85,900 or $976. Doesn't have to be exact really for demonstration purposes. So I know I need 85. Um, $1,900 for reserve. Now, my sponsor agrees that's something I can do. So now it is, what do I do to add it to my project cost? So here's how to do it. The first thing to do 
after figuring out what the total cost is, is to go to uh, view and go to the resource sheet here. And as you can see here, I have three types of resources. I have work, material, and cost. Uh, I'm going to add contingency reserve here. Contingency reserve. And um, by default, it's going to be work. I don't want it to be work type. I want it to be cost type. But when you create a cost resource from the resource sheet, you can't really type here. So what you need to do, to, to do is to decide where you want reserve or contingency reserve in the plan. So you should go back to the chart, take a look at your plan and where you might have issues in the past, uh, rest you've identified on some of the project phases or project deliverables and activities and say, well, uh, this is, those are the places I'm going to add my 85,000 reserve. So here I'm going to click on identifications of potential site. I think I might need some money there. Uh, so, and I click on resource, assign resources. And I'm going to look for contingency reserve. And I'm going to add here um, 20,000. And I type $20,000 here in that dialog box, assign resources, and press enter. So I have contingency reserve so far. Um, on this um, deliverable, $20,000, I can actually add uh, some money here too in the development of what uh, technical concept. I identify some risk here. You can actually do it. Um, in one setting. So I'm going to look for contingency reserve. Let's see, here we go. This is contingency reserve. Uh, let's add 30,000, actually. 30,000. And here we go. So I add another 30,000. As you can see, you can leave this open, actually, and um, find other places where you can add reserve uh, equipment acquisition. Things may go wrong here. Say, so, well, I'm going to need a thirty thousand dollars here uh, reserve. So, and I type uh, thirty thousand dollars reserve. All right. So, so far, I did some reserve in different places of my project. Now, let's go back to the resource sheet to see what happened here. And the only way to see whether you have money here is to add the cost resource resource, for example. Uh, I'm going to add it here. Cost, type cost, and press enter. As you can see here, so far, I have $80,000. And you use the same process until um, you um, use up all your reserve, uh, I mean, allocate all your reserve to different parts of your project, wherever you see fit. And that's how you add contingency reserve to a project. So as you can see here, if I go back to the Gantt view with the entry table, as you can see the total cost of my project now include not only the cost of the project activities and packages, but also uh, the $80,000 reserve that I added to the plan. So that's going to be all for this video. Watch for the next video on project planning and control with Microsoft Project. Thanks for watching.